In this video, we're going to add TypeScript types to our Redux application. One thing I would like to do just before uh, doing that is installing some middleware. So I'm going to do an npm install dash d for a developer dependency Redux logger. And what this will do is it will intercept our store and it will just nicely log out a message for us. So just in the root store, we can go ahead and we can just import that. So let's import that. Import logger. And this is from Redux logger. I can save that. And as a second parameter into our create store, we can add that logger. So this can just be here. And this will be by applying the middleware, which is built into Redux. So we import that as well. And that's the logger. So we can go ahead and we can save that. And one other thing we may need is the types for the Redux logger. So I'll go ahead and install that and I'll just do a control C and so I can do an npm install as a developer dependency at types dash Redux logger. And if you're using TypeScript and you're using different um, packages, there is often an at types uh, sort of associated um, TypeScript file with that so that declaration will be needed for TypeScript and Redux to use the Redux logger and it might also be used for other packages and many other packages indeed so that gets rid of that error there and now what we can do is we can um, we can start to create our types and interfaces for this Redux TypeScript project. So just taking a look at this summary MD file here, I just want to add a couple of folders here. The first being having a models folder within the operation and this will have a um, type or interface associated with the actions and the count and I also want more of a global models as well so this would be in these um, more at the root level but in a folder called models and this will be all of the actions uh, the or not all of the actions the, the higher level sort of ones whereas these are more low level dependent um, related to the particular section it's in so I might actually start with those so in this operation folder here, I'm going to create models and I'll start off by creating an interface and I'll give it a capital C for convention and the way I can declare this so I don't have to import it in TypeScript is I can just use a declare interface and I'll call this count and what this will do is this will just be a count of number so recall that's what our state is um, if you take a look at the reducer here we can see that we've got this count object passed in and we'll get into uh, changing the type so I just wanted to set up the initial models first so that's the count model or the count interface the next one I would like to take a look at is creating actions. So we have our actions TypeScript file and we can see that here that we've got these um, particular action types here, add and minus, and we have the you know the action creators and then these uh, bound functions here. But what I would like to do is I would like to have a particular type for these action types. So 
this can essentially be copied and I might just um, cut these out here like this and this will introduce some errors temporarily but we'll get to changing those and we can have our action types and we just need to export these now so they are accessible so you know export the constant add and which is the string add and export the constant minus which is the string minus so the next thing I'd like to do is just create an interface and I'm not exporting this interface because I will export the um, combined interfaces of both add action and minus action but this add action this is just of the type add Oops. this is just sort of the type add and that's all uppercase and I'll just go ahead and duplicate that and I'll change the word add to minus action and this can be minus here so if it turns out you do need these later on you can export these but in this application we can just go ahead and export a type and I'll just call this operation action types so the idea is that it's a suffix with this action types uh, to denote it's an action or all the action types for this operation and that's just going to be the union of uh, the add action and the minus action so that's just with the OR operator. Um, so now um, we have our operation interfaces and types set up. Now I would like to take a look at the models for the overall application. And I'm going to create a new folder for this. And this is going to be in the same level as the, uh, you know, the first nested within the store so this can be called models and I'm going to create a file here called actions dot typescript and in this file I will import those action types that I've just exported from here so I can go ahead and import those. So those operation action types. They're from the models folder. And they're in uh, actions. Let's take a look here. Uh, let's see, operation action types. back one folder Does this need to be like that okay it's just back one more directory um, okay so this is just the operation action types so you gotta go back a directory up a directory outside actions to models and then into the operation into those models and then those actions there and that's just what we just made there so what we can do is we can export uh, let's see we can export the type app actions and this is going to be equal to this operation action type and right now we've only got one type of action type um, but these app actions sort of encapsulate all of our action types and we'll add another one later on and we just do that with the or operator so or other action type and we'll start to see where these types that we've created will be used in our application so 
I guess we can look at the operation reducer first. Um, and in the operation reducer, we can now import those types we just created, namely the uh, operation action types. And they're going to be from, we can go inside the models, inside the actions. Um, and with that operation action type, we can now, instead of having this any here, we can now return our operation action types. So our operation action types we created here. Let us move that over here so you can see them. So essentially we've got the add, we've got the minus, and then we have the union of those interfaces, which is just the type of that string there. And taking either the add or the add action or the minus action, that's all of our types, all of our action types. So we have this action type case for add and minus, and now we're handling those with our operation action types. <coughs> so we also made this count interface, and it's just, in this case, it's just an object count, but we could add more things here if it was a more sophisticated uh, application, but we declared this interface, so we don't need to import that. So in the reducer here, what I can do is rather than have this state here like that, the default state, we can actually have a default state here like this, and this will be of the type count, and we can set this equal to this here. And for this case, it's you know pretty. It's only one property in our object, but you know, if it was very large, it would be a, a lot more clean there, set out like this. So our default state will now be of the type state. Okay. So that's the type script done for the reducer. Now we have our actions we can deal with. So our operation actions. Okay, we're going to need to import a few things here. We're going to need, we need our add and minus types. So we can go ahead and import those. And those are from the same directory. So let's just get add and minus. These are from current directories models, actions. Uh, is that right? Just an extra O there. And now these types here have stopped erroring. Um, okay, so we will also need to, well, what we can do is we can return for these add and minus uh, functions here we can return a particular type of our app actions. Like in both cases, we're returning an app action. So we created that app actions. And I'll go ahead and close that, close that, and close this now. And these app actions, these are our operation action types. And later they'll have other types, but these app actions is what we're returning here. So for our action creator, we can just go ahead and we can return app actions. I can import those and we can do the same thing for the minus case. And that gets rid of these uh, errors here. So that is the actions type script and I believe that concludes our refactoring to type script so let's just check that that works and I'll run an npm run dev because recall our webpack script is 
hooked up to that in our package.json file we set up in an earlier video uh, so check that out if you haven't seen that um, but now we can go ahead and look at our application we can add and notice this TypeScript logger from before it successfully showed us the previous state so the count was zero for the operation reducer and that's the reducer that we used we called an add action which has the type add there and then we looked at the next state and then it's one and that's what's output here so I can add a few more minus couple here so I'll go six seven um, six and you know this time our previous state um, was seven and then we minus one and the next state was six so this um, TypeScript logger middleware it sort of detects the change in the store and it sort of nicely outputs that there for us like that so we've successfully refactored our application to um, to TypeScript so and we've also got the file structure there so just like we had that middleware for the root store we have a logger here um, in the next video I want to expand on this um, infrastructure we've set up here and add another reducer so we're going to combine another reducer and in addition to adding another re reducer we're going to do it we're going to allow for asynchronous requests because right now our reducers they can only handle you know synchronous requests but to handle asynchronous requests we need to apply redux thunk and that's a, another middleware and we may as well combine reducers and add Redux Thunk and do that in the next video. So thanks so much for watching this video on Redux and TypeScript and getting the type set up and I'll see you in the next one.